All right, guys, before the video starts, I like to say that I clapped with a few other um, YouTubers to do a giveaway for you guys, and we're going to be pretty much giving away a copy of Black Ops 3 on any platform of your choice. So if you're interested in this giveaway, click the first link down below in the description. Uh, on this side, it should be pretty self-explanatory on how to enter, but there's going to be 18 ways to enter, so um, you'll have a lot of chances of winning if you do do all the entries and stuff like that. Um, the giveaway winner will be announced on our Twitter, so be sure to follow us on Twitter so you can get updated on the winners, and the giveaway end date should be on the website as well. But um, yeah, so if you're interested in that, just check out the first link and and uh, let's get started with the actual video. All right, yo, what is up guys? Blade here back with a new video and today I have a video for you guys. We're going to be pretty much going over on how to install the ore spawn mod on Minecraft. This has been really um, requested recently and I decided to do this video for you guys. So yeah, if you guys have any other uh, tutorial suggestions or any video suggestions like that, leave them down below in the comments. Your comment might get featured on my next video. All right, so the first thing you want to do is simply just go to your browser. And once you're here, what you want to do is go to this website right here. It'll be linked down below in the description. It's the ore spawn website. Once you're here, click on the green download ore spawn um, button right there. And then it should take you to an ad fly site. Um, once you're on this site, don't click any ads that you see that you might see over here. Just wait for the timer to go down and click uh, skip ad. And go ahead and save it to wherever you want. And then let's move on. So we're going to exit out of that. And there will be a second link for Forge. And just click on that link. It should be a direct link. So it should automatically start downloading something. And um, so if I refresh here. And there you go. So go ahead and save that as well. And then we have our last um, our website here. So this is a Java website. Um, basically, this is to clear up any problems that you might have installing Forge. So once you're on this website, go ahead and go to the update and just download the latest update and just update the um, the latest Java. And um, yeah, after that, what you want to do is go to the third link, which should be the runtime environment. Once you're here, click on accept right here. If you have a 64-bit computer. Click on this link and download it and install it. If you have a 32-bit computer, click on this link and download and install it. And then you should be good after that. So we're gonna go ahead and minimize that like so. Now you should have two um, things that we downloaded here. We have the forge right here, the exe file. And then we have a zip file for the or spawn mod. So what we want to do with the exe file is just right click and run as administrator. Hit yes, and this should start up a um, installer. Once you're on this installer, make sure it's uh, checked on install client and make sure it has your .minecraft folder right here like so. Then we're gonna hit OK and it should start downloading and installing Forge and it should say successfully installed. We're gonna hit OK on that. And basically you can just delete these two files that um, the log file and the exe file you can just delete those. After that what you want to do is just open up any kind of folder and type in percent app data percent on the address bar like so then hit enter Go into your .minecraft folder, and once you're in here, you shouldn't have a mods folder if you have never used Forge. So what I would do is right click, make a new folder, call it mods, all lowercase, go into that folder, and drag in the zip folder for the ore spawn, like so. After you have done that, just go ahead and exit out of the folder, go ahead and launch Minecraft. Alright, once it starts up, click on the drop down on your profile, and you should have a new um, profile that says Forge. Click on that, and it should say Minecraft 1.7.10-Forge, click on play and just start downloading it. Alright, once you're in game, um, what you want to do is go to your inventory and if you're on creative mode, you want to go to miscellaneous tab right here and scroll down a little bit and you should see all the spawner eggs that they provide you. So when you when you use these, these will spawn the new mobs, of course, so it provides you with a lot of them. So um, let's test some out. So I have some in my hand. Let's spawn this one right here. It's a emperor scorpion, looks pretty cool. We have a basilisk. A cypher drum. Oh, looks, looks pretty cool. <laughs> uh, we have a... What, okay. Yeah, so that, that, the name of that makes sense. That, I don't know what that is. <laughs> um, we have a nightmare. Let's see how that looks like. So there's a lot of dragons, it looks like. A bomb bomb. It's, it's kind of weird. Stinky. Another dragon, of course. Another dragon and a... What's this? An ant robot. Let's see how that looks like. Huh. That, okay. <laughs> um... Yeah, so I'm just gonna let them run wild and mess up this place. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for the video. Um, also, these mobs will uh, spawn in random places as well if you're in survival mode. So it pretty much like makes your game more funner. Um, if that's a word, that's probably not a word. But anyways, guys, uh, if you liked the video, leave a like. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Until guys, I'll be back with a new video. Peace.